All right, so good afternoon, Mr. Gibson. So here's my project on the mantis shrimp. So what is it exactly? So it's a small aggressive crustacean that lives in the shallow waters of the Indian, Indian and Pacific Ocean. And they're actually called Stomatopoda, which is uh, some type of species, I guess. Um, they grow to 48 inches and live for about 3 to 6 years. And <clears throat> there's over 400 different species of them, but in the picture right here, it's this is the peacock mantis shrimp, which when you Google it, that's the one you mostly see. And they've been around longer than the dinosaurs. So yeah, as I said, them they're found in shallow waters. Um, so they dig a lot. They dig a lot of tunnels, which is where they live. They hide in the rocky crevices. And this where there's this is where they would spend most of their time. And in these tunnels, you know, that's where they drag animals to hunt I mean they drag animals that they've eaten which you will see in some video later on so the behavior so yeah these are violent creatures that should not be kept as pets and if you see one in the wild you should proceed with caution caution with it um, and and there is for that is because it's nicknamed the thumb splitter which you know that sounds bad and I don't think you want something called a thumb splitter to you know mess with you so you wouldn't want to mess with it um, <clears throat> they defend their homes a lot from other animals and rivals um, and, and when they fight creatures they use fluorescent colors to signal territory and threats as you see right here in the photo it's fighting a uh, part of a hermit crab or something and another part of the behavior when they're mating so a male will do a courtship dance and but most of the time they are solitary and very territorial but in some cases the um the mantis strip they'll be together for so they'll, they'll form monog monogamous relationships and in those cases they end up defending their homes together uh so hunting so yeah, this is what they eat. So they eat a lot of fish. They eat fish, crabs, clams, snail worms, shrimp or squid. They also like mollusks and basically anything they can like kill. Basically, they can anything they, anything they can kill, they can probably uh, eat it. Um, they like they can eat larger animals bigger than them due to their power, which I'll get into more later on. And when they're hunting, there's two types: spears and mash and smashers. And for spears and mashers, this is what this those two features determine what they will eat, which will also be discussed later on. So here are the two claws. So right here on my where my mouse is, I'm not sure if you can see it. These are spears. You can see how sharp the claws is. And right here, these are the smashers. So the smasher is like a club thing, which just smashes their prey. And spear, they stab their, their prey. And these are the, the different parts of the claws that you can see. Uh, here's a video of a spear mantis shrimp. Uh, but I'll let you watch that for yourself if you get the chance to. But yeah, it just shows like uh, one of the mantis shrimp in its hole. And like any prey that comes along, it just attacks it. And it drags it to its hole. Which I thought was pretty cool. <laughs> So the features, okay, so in my paper I mentioned some of the features they have. So the first one I mentioned is their eyes. So each eye moves indep independently and each eye has trinocular vision which allows us to gauge depth and distance and focus on our objects. And when researching I saw that they have 16 photoreceptors in their eyes which is a lot compared to humans who only have three and like dogs I think who have like two photoreceptors. And in their eyes, they can detect cancer. They can see polarized light. And you see in the photo, the eyes, it's like, kind of like a fly. I forgot what it was called, but I know I mentioned it in the paper. But yeah, these eyes are insane. Uh, so these are the claws. So these are for spears. So as you saw before, it's very like spiny and pointy, which stabs their prey. Um, they, they hunt like... So since they're spear, they probably had like fish and their soft belly. So fish, squid, you know, those things I mentioned before. Anything that doesn't really have a shell. 
that is what spears would go for and as I mentioned before they like they hide in their in their in their uh, tunnels or something and they wait for prey to come by and then they'll stab them and yeah right there they lure they lure prey into their barrels and then they rely on their speed to uh, attack their prey and eat them <clears throat> and for smashers as mentioned they have club like appendages so yeah it's kind of like a hammer they'll smash it they'll smash or whack the prey with great force yeah so yeah anything with like a hard surface that's what they'll go for so they can get into the inside so like clams crabs mollusks things like that and instead of being ambushing they are i guess aggressive more so they'll go looking for their prey and they'll beat it to death which is you know just insane for a, a shrimp is only about four to eight inches to have that kind of power here's another video that will also like talk about its eyes and its punch you can see that too so this is their daddy punch that's what they're most known for so yeah as mentioned before they should not be kept as pets because they can punch through the aquarium glass which is why aquariums don't have them at in those places um you can probably have it as a pet just I wouldn't be recommended. The punch can easily punch through hard shells. And their punch can... So it can punch with a force of 337 pounds. And 21... 337.21 pounds. Which, you know, that's a lot considering its size. And it's underwater, which is, makes it even more interesting. And when they punch, there is a second impact. <clears throat> so this means when they punch, the... It produces some vapor bubbles called cavitation cavitation bubbles, and these bubbles create a second shock wave, which will stun, kill, or dismember the prey instantly. As you can see here, it opened the shell of a part of a clam or something. So yeah, another thing about their punch, it 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 gener it generates a lot of heat. So it can generate a temperature of seven thousand nine hundred fifty two, which is close to the temperature of the sun. Uh, their, their punch speed is equivalent to a 22 caliber rifle, which is 50 times faster than the blink of eye. Um, let's see what else. Their claws. So yeah, it's like a, for like, I think for, I think it's both of them. Their claws is like a spring-like projection. So they coil up their body, their, their claws in, up their body. And once they're ready to strike, they'll lean forward like a spring and they'll like just create a much, a very strong impact. And this video will talk about how it's punched specifically. And that's the end of the slide. So, yeah, um, the Mantis Shrimp, they're pretty cool. They're, you know, I first heard about them from my from an article I read about it out of nowhere. And I thought it was intriguing. So, which is why I picked them for my topic. You know, um, they're, they're only shrimp, but yeah, they can do all these amazing things. But, you know, my, my paper will go more to details about some other aspects. Like, oh, I forgot, forgot to mention that their eyes can detect cats. So I'm not sure if I mentioned that. But, yeah, I'll go more into detail once you see my paper. But, yep, that's everything, I guess. So, I hope I did good.